Hello and welcome to the next in our series on Thinking About Christmas. We're basing our series on this book, Child in the Manger, The True Meaning of Christmas. Now I want to ask a question. If you were bringing a message to the whole world, if you were, let's say you were an extraterrestrial, bringing a message to the earth, who would you go and approach with that message? Who would you take it to? You'd obviously want it as a message for the whole world. You know, the old cartoon is, take me to your leader. Well, who would you take it to, I wonder? Who would you choose to deliver your good news? Would you choose President Biden, I wonder? Or maybe you go to Mr. Putin with all his power in the world. Or what about President Xi? Or maybe even you'd take the message to Boris. Who would you go to? It's a very interesting question because when God started to reveal himself again around the time of Jesus, he didn't choose to reveal himself to Caesar or any of the great leaders of the world at that time. He went to an unknown shepherd. He went to people who were just completely unknown and nobody even knows their name even today and this is what it happened what happened so that's the question to an unknown shepherd or a world leader well god didn't choose a world leader because it says god has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts he's brought down rulers from their thrones but he has lifted up the humble and this is interesting because you know, you tend to think that if God's going to speak to the world, he's going to speak to the most important people we can think of. But it's actually in this case, he spoke to the humble, to some ordinary shepherds who were out on the hills outside Bethlehem. That's found in Luke chapter 1. God has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He's brought down rulers, but he's lifted up the humble. So here are these shepherds living in at, on the hills at night and uh, they're just sitting there looking after their sheep, having a chat, maybe a little campfire and thinking about what's going on. And they'd be used to seeing a shooting star flying over once in a while like that and thinking, oh well, yeah, that's it, something's happening. But then one day, one night shall we say, something happened that was totally unexpected it began with a sort of a bright light in the sky and they were sort of wondering what on earth is go going on here it got brighter and brighter and it was really strange and unusual and quite scary it got brighter and then as the shepherds looked up they heard the angel say do not be afraid and just as a little introduction here we're going to have a small lesson in craft i'll show you how to make it afterwards but you need a piece of paper and this is what the shepherds were doing just looking around looking at the sky looking at their sheep wondering what was going on and then suddenly out of the blue they saw something extremely scary it was an angel what is that what is going on they said and that's our craft for today take a piece of paper fold it in half fold it in half again and then draw a face on it with the part holder there we go like that and then draw the scary face inside ah! <laughs> Okay, after that slight introduction, we'll go back to the important part of the slides. The angel said, do not be afraid. And I'm sure they actually were afraid. I, mean, I think we would have been too, you know, just sitting there seeing phenomena which we had never ever seen before. I don't know if they recognised what these guys were. I mean, we, we see pictures of the Christmas angels, you know, with the wings and all this stuff but what did they really look like we don't know but the angels were there 
and the first message they said was do not be afraid do not be afraid because it was God coming to speak to these angels these shepherds in the fields and God was going to tell them a message that was very important so this is what the angel said I bring you good news well you know it's good to have good news and it can create strong emotions it depends what the news is um, maybe you know you've passed your driving test that's good news isn't it yeah and when you feel when you have good news it does actually result in great joy news of great joy I'm just thinking about uh, the pictures I see on uh, on TV of people who've won the uh, the postcode lottery and they're sort of bouncing up and down because they've got a load of money they've got news of great joy the person knocks at the door and uh, they bring them this news and people are really really ecstatic about it so something great was going to happen and it was actually enough to make people bounce up and down with happiness and joy and it's going to be for all the people says the angel this is a message that's not just for you guys sitting on this hill but it is going to be something for everyone everywhere even in faraway places like real it's good news for us all because today he says in the town of David a savior has been born he's it says he is Christ the Lord and those are tremendous messages because the Jewish people have been waiting for a savior to come and rescue them they've been waiting for the Lord the Christ the Messiah to come and the angel saying to these shepherd guys yes this is actually happening now this is what's on the verge of happening and you are involved in it amazing God didn't send a message to, to Caesar or whoever was in charge of other big parts of the world he sent a message to ordinary shepherd guys so they said let's go to Bethlehem and check it out and away they started they hurried off it says in the Bible they hurried off let's go and find out what's actually happening they I don't know whether they took their sheep whether they said we better get the sheep in the pen before we go but they got going and they went to see something that was the most amazing event in the history of humankind when God became a baby God became flesh and they went to see it they were had a front seat at this amazing amazing event so some thoughts for the day First of all, God can break into your life in unexpected ways, like he did with those shepherds. They weren't expecting it. They didn't know what was happening at first. But the, God broke in, and we should be ready for God to break into our lives. You know, we go on with every day, everything, every day things happening, and suddenly something may happen where God speaks to us, God directs us, and we need to be ready when God does that. God speaks to ordinary people that's the other thing these were ordinary folks it's surprising that we don't know their names because we do know the names of many other quite ordinary people in the Bible but God spoke to shepherds in the fields above Bethlehem ordinary people and God still speaks to ordinary people today he often bypasses the famous people but he speaks to the ordinary people and if God speaks to us don't be afraid says the angel don't be afraid hurry off and see God at work well that's our thought for today and let's just close with uh, a prayer Lord God our Father we thank you for this amazing story of these shepherds up on the hills who were scared stiff when these angels appeared to them but you calmed them down you said don't be afraid you spoke to them and the, the shepherds listened to what you said they were amazed and they listened and they hurried off Lord help us when you speak to us to hurry off 
as well. Amen. Thanks for listening and we hope you'll enjoy the next in this series.